Hey friends, Mike and Jess here. And welcome to Regeneration Nation TV, where we just got done watching The Isle of Men, something we didn't know about the world's deadliest motorcycle race. This is from Time. Um, they have their own channel, like Time yeah. Magazine. That's super, super cool. I Yeah, I believe it's the same Time from Time Magazine. Makes sense. Yeah, it does make sense. Uh, this reaction request comes to us from our friend Romare. <laughs> He's introduced us to a lot of great artists all around the world. Yes. We started to dip into cultural reactions and different things like that. And so he sent us this. Um, yeah, so shout out to you, friend. Thank you for uh, introducing us to the Isle of Men. Yeah, okay. this is crazy. It is a crazy video. <laughs> I definitely recommend going down in the description. Check the links for this original video for Time's official channel. Click on those links, support them, go watch this in your own time, and, uh, you know, get sweaty palms like it gave me. Yeah, go off. But yeah, let's get into this. Let's do it. Deadliest. Holy crap. No, 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 no. I'm 28, just, and uh, I race motorbikes for a living. Oh, the my Island gosh. The Island TT race is the oldest race in motorcycle history. It is considered to be the hardest and most daring racing still allowed. In 107 years of racing, there have been 242 deaths. Four deaths occurred what? this year. Oh, what? my gosh. Oh, no. Nope. I'm so glad you sold your motorcycle. <laughs> yeah, me too. Oh my gosh. Look at that, <gasps> dude. What? Insane. He's right there. He just touched the grass with his shoulder. It's he did. Race. It's totally different. To Is he praying right now? <laughs> anything. They're racing on public roads. On... Super bikes with more than 200 brakes. He just came off the ground. Big sticky fat tires on him. Wow. Oh my gosh, you have and to be an adrenaline uh, junkie. The best race on the planet. <sighs> and uh, it a, holds a big, strong place in my heart. <laughs> Jeez, it's so bumpy, dude. No way. Riders complete six laps throughout the race, with each lap measuring 37.5 miles in length. With over 300 turns, competitors race at breakneck speeds, averaging 130 miles per hour. Oh my gosh. Oh, he just came off the ground again. Just no... The fact that these motorcycles have such power to where if he just let it loose right there, you just flip right over. Yeah. You have to be so careful with motorcycles with this much torque and power that you have to slowly lean into it. Yeah. Like, you will literally just flip right over, right onto your back. It's oh insane. Oh, my gosh. I suppose that you could say there's a little bit of fear. But, like, that's... To me, I think I see that as a good thing. It settles you when you're riding. You know, you're riding hard and you, there's a line you sort of... You don't cross, you know, and... I think that fear sort of controls that a little bit. I mean, don't get me wrong, it doesn't have to, you know, obviously with the danger side of it, you can be hurt and and worse, let's be realistic here, you know. It, you know, there's been some severe things that happen, you know, and um, sometimes oh. it doesn't have to be the individual's fault, you know. Man. Dude, he didn't even want to say that. You could tell, like, he didn't even want to say the word. You could die from it. Oh no. Oh! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, I, yeah, 2010, I had a big smash uh, at the veranda on the, on the mountain road of the TT course. <sighs> I lost the front end at 150 no, plus. No, my. 150 an miles? Hour, you know. What did he just say? I lost the front end at 150 plus mile an hour. What? I ended up going over that, you know, over a hillside. He hit that uh, wall. Cartwheeling down a hill. <gasps> and, uh, yeah, next thing I knew, I was in hospital with uh, a broken back, oh. uh, dislocated knee, 
um, and a bust arm, you know, it's, it's pretty horrendous, but that was that, and this is now, you know, it's all, it's all behind me. Oh, um, my gosh. Uh, I've, I've forgotten about it, really, and, you know, it's took a lot of getting back from, to be honest, it's um, took a lot of strength, physically and mentally, to get through it, and Jeez. hopefully I'll start seeing the fruits of my labours. Jeez. Wow. Look at his hair, that's nice. That's an interesting guy. <laughs> it looks like his hair is on fire. That's right. So cool. Now we'll see. I'm on the best bike in the grid. I couldn't do I that. Right. I couldn't be a part of the outside uh, saying goodbye to you every time. All I do, I don't get carried away with predictions or anything like that or any of that old nonsense. It's just whatever I'm feeling on the day. If I feel good, you know, I'll push because my bike's good. The Honda Fireblade is, is a brilliant bit of kit. And... Uh, you know, I'd love to do myself and the team justice by getting a good result tomorrow, you know, and there'd be no one trying as hard as I am. Needs no build up from me. Here we Just go. looking at that bike right then, I do miss having a bike and like working on it. Um, because there it's just so everything's there. All yeah. in one spot. The car is like it's so spread out and yeah. things are harder to get to. Bikes, working on bikes was like a lot more enjoyable, I feel like, than any car that I've ever worked on. It was a lot on. less all compact into one. Yeah. I can see that. You could just do so much more in, a, in less time. I don't yeah. know. It felt, yeah, better. I don't know. Oh, the Focus Star Senior TT, the big, big race of the week. One minute less than 55 seconds to go as the top boys are now paddling these uh, magnificent machines wow, towards... Man the start line on Glen Crutchley Road. I was, we, one second guys. Are you hearing more time? Everything okay? Yeah. Cause I feel like a slam and then she whines and it's freaking out. What's going on? I heard a smack and then we're like, oh. oh no, I just got to put down her little door. Gosh, man. Nathan wants to put on the most obscure movies for her sometimes. Yeah, it's totally and then he'll change movies, change movies, change movies. Yeah. I'm like, dude. He doesn't understand that he's just like. Okay. Heard a little smack and then a cry. Thought my daughter, thought our daughter, like, had hurt herself. She's out there with her younger brothers right now. I'm so, so glad you can hear it. I literally didn't hear nothing. Yeah, that was uh, scary. No, Glen Crutchley Road. Next away, number 10. 10 is Connor Cummins. The Ramsey rocket is launched down towards Bray Hill on the Honda. Look how fast they're going! Six laps of yeah. course, 226. In a cemetery? Miles ahead. They, they go through, through there? I don't know. Gosh. And Connor Cummins is on oh. Glen Crutchery Road now, so we'll just see if Connor slots into second oh. place. Gosh. See all the BMW boys about to greet their charge there is Connor coming slowing up Connor is in second 14 seconds down throughout a grueling race Connor Cummins is in a battle for first place against Michael Dunlop despite a neck and neck Straight race up. Connor comes in second Straight Straight up. comes off the ground man no anyone to do this race at all yeah right someone's forcing me to do it I want to do it I'm fully aware of what goes on it's down to me everyone else is the same not Don't turn around and look. <laughs> signed up because they have to, it's because <gasps> they want to. It's as simple as that. No, at the end of the day, I'd only stop if I, if I stopped enjoying it. If I, if I wasn't enjoying my racing, then this place is not the place to be riding a motorbike. You know, mm -mm. all I could probably say is, you know, they were doing something that they they loved, riding a motorbike, and enjoying themselves. You know, you know, it's very easy for me to sit here and say that. I, I wouldn't like to be in anyone's position who, who's grieving right now, you know. 
Um, but hopefully they would take some kind of comfort in the fact that they were enjoying themselves and you know doing doing something they wanted to do. Like even in that moment where you're competing with that other person, that is such a cool experience i'm sure between you two mm -hmm. you know like that is such an exhilarating feeling going that fast the way that you ride a motorcycle is so different than anything else and it's it's just like you're competing but you're also i'm sure enjoying that that moment together <laughs> in a weird way you know it's uh it's very strange it's it's crazy to me that people can push that fear outside of their brain because once you're you're talking about them riding next to each other, my heart stopped. Like I stopped breathing for a second just watching that happen. Like I used to freak out when people would ride their bike next to me when I'm riding my <laughs> bike. Like I'm going to fall over. I get so fearful and like I can't control myself and I get very distracted and I'm like, I'm going to fall. So imagine doing that at 150 miles an hour on a motorcycle. Yeah. Like what? And then also like – Connor has like some really good ways of thinking because he does have a passion for it. And you can tell like yeah. the way he's representing the people that have actually lost people. If they just think about it, they were doing something that they love. I, I like that he gave that sentiment as well. But the fact that he just pushed aside that fear of that video that we just watched and like my jaw dropped, like golly. And you could still pushing like push through it. Like, oh, yeah. I'm really glad that this video only had two crashes. All right. Okay. Give Let's yourself burn, some smoke. Burn those tires. <laughs> They're not going to be used again. That is crazy. Yeah, what a crazy video that was. It was I'm like I said, I'm glad there was only two crashes yeah. in that video. Um, I used to have a motorcycle. Like I sold it because we live in a very dense city and I just never felt safe. Mm -mm. It's, it's not the person who, you know, was the teacher in my motorcycle driving school. Um, he was like, listen, like if you get in a car, if you get in a motorcycle accident, it's your fault. Okay. No matter what the circumstances were, it's your fault. You are the one choosing to leave the protection of a car or a van, truck, whatever, and ride on this this machine open, open. that has no doors, <laughs> yes. no windows, oh no God. frame around you, anything. Yeah. And people cannot see you. He's like, people are trained to see like vehicles, not motorcycles. Mm -hmm. So if you just drive your motorcycle, like nobody sees you, you'll be a lot better. Like if you're pulling up or you're driving and you see somebody getting ready to pull out and they're going to be pulling into your lane, assume that they don't see you. Just slow down. Yeah. Don't don't ever assume that someone can see you when you're driving this thing. That's and terrifying. I left, drove the thing for several months and I'm like, wow, nobody can see me. <laughs> Everybody keeps steering into me. Everybody keeps pulling in front of me. Oh, I'm glad People you didn't tell me that. People get over all the time on me. And it's he had like, to drive on the interstate every time, like yeah. to, back and forth to work. That was... I was like, man, they literally cannot see me, dude. Mm -hmm. This is crazy. No. Having two young sons at the time, um, you know, I did make the decision to sell it and just leave that life behind. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what it was. I, it is an, a, it's an exhilarating feeling. It's amazing. Uh, I would rather just drive them on a track with some suits on and everything like that. And everybody else on that track is on a motorcycle as well. Those people are more accustomed to seeing other motorcycle riders. You would riders. do that? Oh, 100% yeah. I would do that. Oh, you married a big chicken. I hope you know that. I'm the biggest oh chicken gosh. ever. Did I ride on your motorcycle only like one time? Did I go like just no, one you went, time? Uh, you went several times with me. Several? Okay. Yeah. Maybe I just like blocked that part of my brain out. But I remember you like fighting with me, not fighting with me, but like asking me to go and me being like, no, I'm not doing yeah, you it. You didn't want to go. <laughs> I Even for me, I mean, I went on the back of my brother-in-law's motorcycle once. He went, I peeked over almost got ripped off the bike we were going so fast he said we got up to 175 miles per no. hour so i could have died i'm I so glad you didn't died. tell me this when you had a motorcycle oh my gosh oh it's crazy there's nothing like a motorcycle it's it's insane mm -hmm. even a car that's going that fast i mean if you reckon a car going that fast you're probably not gonna make it out i don't know but yeah. 
you still have some level of protection and you don't have the wind. It's mm-hmm. such a visceral feeling being out like that. It's a, uh, you're just exposed. Yeah. You feel exposed the entire time. That's, and, that's what's yeah. scary to me is it's just two wheels. You have to be very good at balancing. You have to be very good at cutting sharp corners. Like when you're in a car, you have all four wheels on the ground. It's you totally can just rock too, that man. out. But. It's different turning. Everything's different uh, about a motorcycle. It's, it's, it's very crazy. But You've got to know lean that this... your body into the turns. Exactly. Just, They're leaning all the way to the road. Like he could have a road just, rash. You're just turning the wheel. Oh, jeez. Yeah. I'll stick to my car with four wheels. That was a very uh, interesting video. Mm-hmm. Very very cool yeah. i can't lie it was uh scary glad there was only a few accidents in it i don't like seeing motorcycle accidents yeah that's it's not fun to watch you're so vulnerable no yeah. matter what protection you have on you you're so vulnerable so much more vulnerable if you are in a car yep. than you are in a car but um With- definitely uh shout out heart goes out to all the families who have lost someone we have doing we that. have in our own family so yeah we've had people affected by motorcycle accidents to this day we've lost loved ones um it's it's, it's serious it's serious stuff and it's something to not be taken lightly Mm-mm. um so yeah heart goes out to all of those people absolutely all right friends if you have any more crazy videos like this you would like to see us react to leave those in the description Mm -hmm. shout out to our friend romero once again uh thanks for this video yeah you never disappoint (laughs) all right we'll see you on the next one bye friends peace